Hey, this is Jacob with SalesPad, and this morning we're going to take a look at um, some workflow setup and what we call auto forwarding queues. <clears throat> so I'm in SalesPad now. I'm on a customer, the customer search screen. I'm going to go ahead and pull up a customer. Um, a lot of times we'll have um, clients ask uh, to set up workflow and to do some workflow rules, and then they only want certain documents to print. So um, in this example, we're going to create a sales document and we're going to split the document with um, a back order um, or at least one line back ordered and one line ready to go out to the warehouse to be picked. Um, and a lot of times when this happens, the only document that you want to print is the um, the fulfilled document or the one going out to the warehouse to be picked. You don't want to print the back order document yet um, because, of course, you don't have anything to pick. So in this scenario, if I go ahead and just enter an, um, an order here with two different lines, um, we'll see that the top line, once I save the document, the top line has quantity available. The bottom line is red for back order. So I'm going to go ahead and release this. Now, it's going to give me the split, and it's going to split it into two documents, but then it's actually going to give me the um, print dialog. Um, so I can print my pick ticket for the warehouse. Um, so if I print my pick ticket here and preview that, it's going to give me two different uh, printouts. It's going to give me one for the dot one and one for the dot two. Um, so uh, and, and that's something we don't want because the one line is back ordered and will go out to the warehouse to be um, to be picked as well. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how that auto forwarding queue would be set up to help with that printing. So I'm going to go into my workflow setup real quick. Um, and I'm in my distribution order and I have my workflow set up. So from pending order it goes to ready to pick. I have the split plug in. I also have print and evaluate for my rules. Um, now what we can do though is we're going to add a new queue and we're going to call it a print plus. So any queue that ends in a plus sign becomes what is called an auto forwarding queue. Um, and what this does is it allows us to enable the print dialog here and the eval here. Actually, we can do the eval from here as well, but we can do the eval for out of the print plus also. But the big portion that we want checked is the print. So I'm going to uncheck the print here, change this to print plus. Now, what this will do then is only the document that is not back ordered will hit the print plus. The document that is back ordered, the rule will take effect based on the eval box and move it to the back orders queue. Um, so what the, the way that this happens on the code side is the print dialog actually fires off prior to the evaluation of the rules. Um, so this is our way to get around that is it hits the print plus. The print plus we don't have to have a button caption because of the plus sign it's auto forwarding so it's going to automatically forward any document that hits the print plus on the ready to pick and pop up the print dialog. So I'm going to go ahead and save that and we'll jump back into the customer card. Go ahead and open up a new distribution order. We'll do the exact same thing A100 and we'll do an HD120 Again, that's going to be back ordered. Now I'm going to go ahead and release this document. We get our split. And then we get our print dialog. Now when I print this one, and I'm going to pull up the packing slur, the pick ticket here, and just preview that on screen. And if you'll notice, the only thing that is showing is the A100, or in this case the dot one order that moved out to be ready to pick. When we close that out, and if you'll see it hits dot one hits the print plus and then automatically goes to ready to pick the dot two the rule fires off and moves it to the back orders queue so that is how you use auto forwarding queues in our workflow again this is Jacob at SalesPad thanks for watching